Tim, welcome to Barnet Football Club. You Thank must you. be delighted to be back in the game and to join at the Hive London. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it all happened in a bit of a rush. Um, obviously, after after the weekend and, and then the change was made and I got a phone call sort of latish last night. So, um, absolutely delighted to be here. Um, obviously, been here a few times with um, my previous club and um, at Solio and... and you know, it's a fantastic place to come and play. It's a beautiful facility. Obviously, ex EFL and aspiring to get back in the EFL as quickly as possible. Having spoken to to Mr. Cleanthus, so listen, um, I'm delighted to be here. I'm under no illusions. Um, you know, I'm not sort of uh, wet behind the ears. So I understand where we're at. Um, I've obviously followed not just Barnet but the National League very closely since I left Solio, which was probably t- ten months ago. Um, it hasn't changed a heck of a lot if I'm honest with you it's a brutal division um, and especially with the condensed season you know you're playing Saturday, Tuesday Saturday, Tuesday and now the, 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 obviously the trophy's kicking in as well so a real real tough division um, and I think the bottom line is if you ain't ready for the fight you're going to get badly found out um, you know a, a bit of spirit and heart and soul can cover a, a multitude of sins um, you know and, and if we can produce a team that, that goes out and, and basically has to be peeled off the pitch, win, lose or draw. I think people will buy into that. Um, what we can't have um, and can't be acceptable of a club of this stature is, um, you know, is, is one good game, two good games and then a, a capitulation. So uh, obviously, obviously I'm fresh in the door first morning this morning. Um, it's going to take me a, a, you know, a few days, no, certainly not too long. Um, we're on times of the essence, but I want to have a quick look at what we've got uh, and then we'll make some decisions. But I've had a chat with them and I don't think anyone's under any illusion about what I want. Um, I, can, I can accept certain deficiencies. I can accept that. But one I can't accept is, is um, lack of moral fibre, for a better word. Is I, I want every single player that pulls the amber jersey on to run for a brick wall. And basically, that's all I ask. And then when I look at that, squad of players that's behind your head there's some quality in there there's some quality under this roof and I think the perception from outside of this building is if you catch Barnet on a good day you could have a very long afternoon on your hands but what we need to ally that with is is real spirit so that is what I'm looking for in the, in the short term In terms of taking the job do you view this as a project obviously with the league position at the moment it's not great and it will need an immediate turnaround but in terms of the future with the setup and everything here at the Hive, is that something that entices you to the role? Absolutely. Listen, it's again looking from the from the outside and, and from bringing teams here. Um, it's it's wonderful. You know, I've just had a quick look at the lads uh, out the back there just before we started to chat, and you know, they just pick pick a pitch. You know, you've got eight, whatever, eight, seven, eight, nine pitches, goalkeeping areas. It's beautiful. It really is. Um, uh, and, and what they have to understand is. There's a lot worse places to ply your trade. Do you know what I mean? There's a, it's a long way down from here. This is a super football club at, at national league level, and it's, it is a, an EFL setup. There's no doubt about that. But everybody rocks up here and thinks the same. Think, wow, we'll have a bit of this, you know. So you've got to be, you've got to be ready. You've got to be in people's faces and go toe to toe in the right manner, organised, in shape, pressing, and, and do the ugly side of the game because. That's what the, you know, the the vast majority of the National League's about. You need to to go Saturday, Tuesday, roll your sleeves up and go to the well. Um, so as I say, you know, in the brief five minutes, ten minutes I had with them this morning, um, just to very quickly scratch the surface about myself, that that is my first point of call. That is what I'm asking for. What I'm asking, and that's what I'm demanding. So hopefully we'll see um, we'll see some of that uh, in the coming fixtures. When we spoke on the phone last night, you said that it's far too early for us to say we can't have a real fist of this season. When you look, OK, we're in December, we've only played 13 yeah. league games. Yeah. If the players can show that, that attitude that you've said you demand, there's still a long way to go in this season. Long, long way to go. I mean, if you times, what is it, 31 games left, something like that. If you times up by three, that's how many points we've got left. I'm not clever enough to do that at the minute, but it's plenty. There's plenty of points to play for. Obviously, you know, a tough draw away from home against one of either two very good uh, Conference South, National League South sides. Um, so, you know, a tough a tough draw. Um, so, you know, but, but this is Barnet Football Club. 
you know we've got we've now got as a group step up to the plate you know this this as I said this having a good game or a you know a, an acceptable clean sheet or an acceptable valiant defeat doesn't really wash with me um, you know I need more than that so I think they understand that probably now but if they don't in the next couple of days they certainly will um, so as I said and I said to the, the lads I had at Solihull you know if if I'm seeing that then that's a really good starting point you know because if you're showing that and allied that with that kind of quality that we can see on the board there then uh, as you say maybe there's still some life in this season yet you mentioned the squad behind my head on the whiteboard, but it's full of talent. Mm. Do we now need to sort of rebuild the confidence? Because if you look at, say, the last five, six games, we've had some big defeats mm. and it really seems to have shaken the club as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, I've played in, 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 in some good teams and I've played in some bad teams. Um, so I know, I know where they're at. It's not a great feeling, especially, you know, the position I used to play. <laughs> You're the one that's bending your back, picking them out of the net and... It's not a great feeling, you know, and, and I've been in teams that have shipped goals and been responsible and had to look at myself in the mirror, basically, you know, you, there's only one way out of a, of a sticky patch and that's graft, you know, you can, you can point fingers or it's not my fault or wave your arms around as much as you want, but the bottom line is when you actually look at the fellow that's looking back at you, you know you've got to do better, you know it, and now my job is to instill some confidence, instill some belief, um, have a look at shape, have a look at all the, the, you know, the tactical things, but sometimes tactics is all well and good and shapes are all well and good, but run a long way and run fast. Run back faster than you run forward, get into position, put your foot in, put your head in, get cut, do all the horrible things that footballers have to do, and then with that kind of quality, results should look after themselves a little bit, but first and foremost, you've got to roll your sleeves up. How big of a role do the supporters play in this? You mentioned there, sort of a, a real collective team attitude. And if the boys show that attitude, I'm sure the boy, uh, the fans will get right behind the boys. I think they will. I think they will. I, I came here two years ago and got beat. Uh, with Soli, I got beat 2-0. Uh, I think Wes scored. I can't remember who got the other one. But, um, you know, it was hostile. You know, there was a few in that day. Um, and that can get all over you, you know. And the one thing we had at Soli was a, an incredible home record. Um, you know, it was a, a people just hated coming and playing us at, at Damson Park, and that's what we've got to try and get here. You know, and if we can get the fans back in, they can make a big, big difference. Because again, as I say, I, I played the game, and when they're on you, <laughs> it's not nice. It's not nice. You know, you can hear them, and you know what they're saying to you. So you you've got to man up. Basically, you've got you've got to be strong, have broad shoulders, and come out fighting. Um, and that's what not only I want. That's what I expect. That's what I expect to see. There's some big strong physical experienced men in that group and there's some young ones uh, some you know different types some quality there's no doubt about that we've got dribblers we've got lads who can who can score goals. i know we haven't scored enough goals but there's boys who've got a track record you know hooper i was with at um at uh, northampton for a wee while you know he's got undoubted talent he was ripping it up at bromley which resulted in his rex and move you know he's got four goals at the minute i just had a change should be on 12 now for me a man of his quality and his finishing prowess should be on 12 goals you know but listen that's for another day that's for the training ground and patterns and getting people in the box and telling them what I'm after and set plays and we'll go through all that in the next few days up until Saturday but it's it's repetition 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 basically so it's hammering away at the same uh, principles that in the end they become ingrained and they do it you don't even have to keep shouting off the bench, they just do it. And at the end of the day, I, I would back that group and hopefully maybe one or two incoming, we'll have a look. But, you know, I'd like to think we can get one or two in if we need be. Um, but uh, listen, let's first of all put some heart and soul and spirit back into to the football club. Not Blarney, not, it's easy me sitting here giving it all that, but they've got to run out there and, and, and show what it means to play here and be here and play in front of the, of the fans. But yeah, they can, they can play a massive part. Your first fixtures, of course, in the FA Trophy on Saturday. From an outside, people could say that's a, a sort of a nice first fixture. But how important is it we use this weekend to implement your style and implement that attitude? Yeah, it'll take. I mean, it, it will take a bit of time at the end of that. Listen, there's a lot of nonsense written about <coughs> styles of play and you know direct this and direct that. 
it's effective football, okay? So you play where the space is. If the space, if, if, if you know, defenders are backed off and the space in front, then you, you can play some possession football. If the space is in behind, put it in behind. You know, when I look at the front players we've got here, there's pace. There's pace. Ine on JJ Hooper, Young Walker when he comes back, Mason Clark, you know, Wes Fong, maybe from the 10 position, breaking beyond breaking lines, you know, but you've got to want to run, you've got to bend, you've got to want to test people. Defenders at any level, but especially this, don't want to get turned around and run back towards their own goal. They don't want to face crosses from good areas and we've got to give them what they don't want. Um, so it'll take them a little while um, to probably take on board what I'm after. You know, listen, let's get the ball in behind opponents. Let's put it on them for want of a better word, let's squeeze up, let's get on some second balls and let's play some football in the final third. Let's get the ball in good shooting and crossing positions and deliver some end product. Uh, you know, let's, let's win set plays and be effective at them. There's good delivery here. You know, I've watched some of the tapes. You know, Wordsworth's got a nice left foot. We've got nice right foot delivery. We've got some big units who need to come in with mean intentions, you know, They're coming to score a goal. So all that's for the training ground in, in the coming days and, and, and weeks. But, um, you know, I'm... I'm enthused about the job. Um, I'm enthused about what I think we can achieve. It is a project, yes. You know, you, you asked me a question, is it a project? Yeah, I think it is, you know. First of all, let's slow the shit down, try and stop it and turn it around and go back the other way. That's the first port of call, all right? And, and do it with some purpose. And then when there's a little bit of confidence, all of a sudden, lads start to find their feet again and we've got some good players. So. Um, Let's see what the next few weeks bring and then that will determine whether I have to act or, you know, we can go with the status quo. Just lastly, what would your message be to the Bees fans? Because it might take a little while for you to play your first home game with them in attendance yeah. with the whole tier three thing. Yeah. But what would your message be to them? Well, first of all, I'm proud to be here. Very proud to um, when Mr. Cleanthus offered me the job last night. I, I, I said to him, I'm, I'm really proud to represent the football club and yourself. Um, I will move heaven and earth to try and get us a, you know, in some acceptable form. In you know, to put a team out that represents, represents the supporters, represents the club. You know, win, lose or draw, you have to peel them off the pitch. You know, they've given everything they've got. I'll move heaven and earth to do that, and then play some attractive football, score some goals, get some, um, you know, some attempts, some final third entries, some crosses be adept at set plays, that is what I'm here to do, that is what I'm going to try and do. Um, and hopefully in the coming weeks we'll see some, some return on that and moving forward, you know, everybody in this division, probably 95% think they should be and want to be in the EFL, somebody's got to do it, why not us?